Hello viewers, today, I'm going to show you how can you modify your Chinese RX 580 2048 SB graphics card to make it multi-boot support with Windows Linux and Hackintosh or Mac OS. As you can see my card is showing as RX 580 2048 SB on both AMD Radeon and Device Manager. First, we need to download the stock vBIOS from the card. For that, let's download GPU-Z from the link given in description and open it. After opening, you can see the details of your card. As you can see, its device ID is 6FDF. This ID is not supported on Mac OS, so we need to update it to 67DF. Let's save the BIOS clicking Save BIOS button. Now we have our BIOS file saved, and we are ready for next step. For our second step, let's download HXD Hex Editor and open it. From HXD Hex Editor, open our saved BIOS file. Now from search menu click on Find. On Find window select hex values and look for F0FDE60F and change it to F07DE607. Now again search for 0210DF6F and change it to 0210DF67. You will find at least two of them and update them all. After these changes done save the file. Now go to find again, this time we will search for text string, search for GOP, it will show you where the GOP codes are, we need to replace these codes to make it work on all system with UEFI. GOP code starts with 55 AA. We will need A and D GOP codes to replace these. I'll share the GOP file which I'm using now. Let's open the GOP EFI file. For easy access, let's copy it to our current working folder. Now open the GOP file in HXD Hex Editor, select everything with Ctrl A, then copy these codes. Switch to our BIOS file. Place your cursor where GOP code starts, it's with 55 AA at the start, and press Ctrl B or right click and paste right. Don't use Ctrl V or paste insert, it will change file size and that will cause issues with BIOS file. After codes are placed, save the file and close HXC hex editor. Our second step is done. Now rename the saved BIOS file to modded, so we know this is the updated file. Our BIOS file is saved, but we can't use it yet. Let's download and open Polaris BIOS editor to fix checksum error which caused for modification. After downloading open the Polaris BIOS editor, open our BIOS file click OK when showing checksum error. Click on save as and replace the original file. Then the BIOS file is ready to flash. Now our fourth step, download latest AMD flash tool and install driver from it. Use the latest flash tool for driver only, don't try to flash with it, as it will fail. Also older driver won't work with Windows, so you will need this file for driver. After driver installed, from the same page look for older versions of driver and download version 2.93. Extract this folder, copy our modified BIOS ROM file to this folder. Now open CMD with administrator rights. Don't use terminal, that will give you error. Change directory to flash tool folder, then type the command given in description. If you named your BIOS differently, make sure to change it on command. It will give you some pop-up window. Click OK or cancel to close them and wait. When flash is completed you will get confirmation and ask to restart PC. Let's restart PC and come back with results.
Now I restart to Mac OS, as you can see card is detected and working correctly. Let's restart to Windows to check Windows driver as well. It's detected in Windows as RX 580 series in both Radeon Software and Device Manager. Also the card is working correctly. If you followed all the steps till now, your card should be working fine on all system with UEFI as well. If you have any issues, let me know in comment. Thanks for watching.